Oh, hi there. Uh, been wanting to make a video for a day or two now. I figured I would uh, talk about what's going on in uh, the pop culture scene right now. Uh, there was a character named Zombie Boy um, who was one of the dancers for Lady Gaga in one of her songs. I believe it was Born This Way. Um, his name was uh, Rick Jen. Genist, I believe. Uh, he, was, he was born in Montreal, so, uh, um, you know, to be perfectly honest, I hadn't even, you know, thought anything of him for the longest time. Like, I almost forgot he existed. Um, I did a little bit of cursory research before I um, decided to make this video, and I don't want to sound disingenuous or that, you know, I'm taking it lightly. Um, in this particular video, and this style of video, when somebody uh, in the media is told has passed on, a lot of the times I'll say it was a put-up job or it was someone just trying to run away. And this particular time, I don't think that's the case. I'm not going to rule that stuff out, but based on what I've seen of this character, uh, I think um, him uh, committing suicide was most likely what happened. Um, anyway, this zombie boy character, if you don't know who he is, I didn't know who he was really. Uh, essentially, he had a lot of tattoos and he... Uh, wanted to make himself look like a skeleton with a lot of uh, insects or, you know, bug tattoos on him. So, you know, he is a, a sadomasochist. Uh, he most certainly was one at very least. Um, I saw an interview with him uh, by Watch Mojo uh, earlier today, and he, you know, did the, the tongue splitting thing. I don't know why anyone would want to go through with that, but Evidently, he did. Uh, you know, huge bolts coming out of his nose. Um, all kinds of strange stuff. Um, you know, that's um, self-mutilation right there. Uh, it was mentioned a number of times that uh, they claim it was mental health, but uh, there is a line in the sand where it's, you can't really call it mental health when that's just, you know, psychotic. Uh, when someone does those sorts of things to their body deliberately and he must have taken pleasure in doing such things because uh, he evidently liked to host uh, events where you know it was a hell theme and you know a lot of messed up stuff was happening there uh, he was describing how uh, he liked to, um, you know, have a worm go up his nose and then him pull it out through his mouth and things like that. And, you know, that's probably the tame sort of stuff that he did. Um, to me, he looked like, you know, um, not someone who was particularly bright. I mean, the interview with Watch Mojo was done back in 2012, but he really didn't sound like he could hold down an interview very well. As a matter of fact, uh, the woman who was supposed to be doing the interview with him, it didn't even really seem like she was there because, um, you know, they would show a picture of a question he was being asked, uh, you know, just a, a black picture with some writing on it, and he would answer it, and we have no idea if the hostess was there or not because this guy is obviously some sort of a creep. And anyway, um, he was most certainly a homosexual of some sort, whether it was a bisexual or whatever. Um, he was uh, five foot eight and he did modeling for Vanity Fair. And uh, the thing about Vanity Fair, uh, it's right in the name, you know, vain, vanity. It's all about um, the, um, you know, the glorification of oneself and all that sort of stuff and with the kind of stuff he was into, um, yeah, he was a bit of a messed up character. And I mean, 
Lady Gaga sent out tweets saying condolences and, you know, she feels really bad and she's distraught. I forget the exact words she used, but who even knows if she wrote that or not? Probably not. Probably just her spin doctors. Um, I'm sure she's heard the news and she's distraught about it, but we don't even really know that because there's no interview. She hasn't spoken on anything uh, on the internet most especially um, about this and she probably won't ever do that and I mean in situations like that it can be difficult to talk about because the whole world is judging you as you're uh, making a speech about how someone passed on and it was supposed to have meant something to you so I'm assuming that this uh, uh, Rico uh, character, as he was called, Zombie Boy, meant something to Lady Gaga. Um, I don't think she's that cold-hearted. But, yeah, getting back to Zombie Boy, uh, yeah, sadomasochist, uh, Vanity Fair, um, they say um, that his death was not suspicious and all that sort of stuff. Um, I have a tendency to kind of believe that, but uh, it's just there is possibility that that's you know not entirely true. Um, there is a thing called autoerotic asphyxiation. It's not a word I typically use, um, or you know a combination of words I typically use. But anyway, um, that may have been what done him in, and. I don't know, maybe somebody helped him along. Um, I call it the Dr. Kaufman uh, phenomenon. Uh, Dr. Kaufman was a man in one of the James Bond movies with Pierce Brosnan, Tomorrow Never Dies. Essentially, when a story is written the day before it happens. And Dr. Kaufman uh, was a character in that particular uh, movie who specialized in the celebrity overdose. Um, so it is possible that he didn't commit suicide and to be honest that would be the perfect cover based on the sort of person he was. Uh, I mean in the interview uh, with Watch Mojo he was you know wearing a muscle shirt he doesn't really have muscles but um, or didn't I should say and it says, you know, kill me on it. And, you know, that was just his mindset uh, the entire time when he was getting these tattoos, uh, doing his modeling thing. And, like, I, I don't even know what kind of environment uh, somebody has to grow up in to, you know, think that way their entire life. But uh, it's, it's, it's messed up. It's screwed up. And, um, you know... They're trying to promote the image that they have to address this mental health concern and yada yada yada. But I mean, a guy like this, he needed to be watched 24 hours a day by by some people. I don't think he was worth too terribly much in the way of monetary funds. And that may have been, you know, what triggered this was that... Um, there's no doubt about it that Lady Gaga's career is going downhill. Uh, she was at her peak probably around 2010, 2011. And then it, you know, it started deteriorating from there. That's, you know, the honest truth. That's not me being mean about her or anything like that. And I forget how much they said she was worth. It was either 130 million or 270, something like that. But the thing is, when you're dealing with that kind of money, it has more to do with power rather than, you know, hard currency. I mean, obviously that is a factor, but uh, if your accountant say, well, you got five bucks for the day, then you can have 270 million bucks in the bank, but if you only got five bucks for the day, and I don't know, if you're restricted to being on one city block, then I guess all you got is five dollars. Theoretically, that could be a problem for someone worth that much money. Um, and, 
yeah, not much else is known about this guy. Um, he was five foot eight, uh, so he was you know tiny guy uh, in a modeling Vanity Fair notorious uh, modeling agency. Uh, they're very very abusive to their models, and uh, there's no doubt about it that uh, he was bisexual. Um, I don't even think. Uh, a man of his stature could get away with being full-on homosexual. I, like, there would be women who, who could, you know, essentially beat him up. Uh, that, that's the fact of the matter. And um, it's, you know, um, that, that sounds like a whole mess on its own. And it's probably something Lady Gaga is never going to address publicly anyway. Uh, who knows what she's doing right now. It could be possible that she's crying the blues or it could be possible that she's in her own bubble. Well, she is in her own bubble and she's not even heard the story yet. That's also a possibility. Uh, there are a number of different combinations that could have happened uh, and we're just not going to know and I'm not going to lie, I don't have that much invested interest in it. Um... Yeah, and you know, not to be rude or inconsiderate about it. Um, it's just, um, you know, in the reverse situation for anybody, uh, any, you know, common person who has never met a celebrity or anything like that, um, a guy like him wouldn't give a damn. Uh, Lady Gaga spin doctors, you know, they told it differently, but uh, the truth is, he wouldn't care. It wouldn't bother him in the slightest. So, I mean, um, if he chose to do himself in, that was his own, you know, mistake. That, that was his, you know, that was, that was his own messed up bag. And, um, you know, I'm making this video because I think that, uh, this topic should be talked about because, uh, uh, some people, you know, they do get down on their luck and things aren't good for them. And um, I'm not one of those people. Um, but there are other people, and I have seen that, um, you know, they could use a pick-me-up, you know, a helping hand sort of thing. And I don't know what kind of crazy world that guy was in, but the thing is, it's important for us because that crazy world, whether he's alive or not, is still out there. And it's still out there for everybody and having ignorance about it isn't going to make it go away and there are reasons i'm not going to say good reasons for why such a person who held those kind of events exists in this world uh, i'm not entirely certain what those reasons are but you know i have some theories anyway it's just a messed up scene. Uh, I think it's the wrong kind of mentality to, you know, uh, go about that kind of way of thought process in your day-to-day -day life. I don't think it's normal. I don't think, um, I don't think it should be promoted and I don't think people should talk that way. Um, they just, they sound screwed up in the head. And, you know, they had mentioned mental health sort of things. So, from what I understand, um, that would mean he was probably in psychiatric wards and things like that, uh, or something. Uh, I mean, there is a music video where Lady Gaga, I can't remember the song, uh, she was in a psychiatric ward, or, you know, on her way out, and she was just, you know, grateful that everything worked out for her and all that kind of stuff. Um, so... Yeah, the fact that, yeah, they had mentioned mental health a couple times and then Nikki Swift video after their words are like, well, if you know anyone who's got depression or suicidal thoughts or whatever to phone this number. And, um, I mean, anyone who knows me knows I'm not depressed. Uh, I had said uh, a number of times in previous videos about venophylaxin, um... And for me to make this kind of a video, it's, it's a bit on the ballsy side, actually. Especially with the way I'm pitching it. 
because uh, the thing is, uh, you got to be a bit ballsy when you're making videos. It's just the problem with being a bit ballsy is balls are vulnerable. <laughs> like they get hurt easily, and like I don't like that. I don't. I don't like the idea of my balls getting hurt. I've. I've got to be honest with you. And um, it's another thing. Like I. I ha I feel as though I have to bring it up because the computer to me is starting to seem as though it's kind of like the movie Misery where I'm crippled but I, you know, the only social communication I really get is from the computer. Um, so essentially that that device over there is, uh, is the, um, you know, the, the Annie character from Misery. Um, and um, the reason, uh, you know, I'm basically crippled is a sore throat, actually, as I've explained, because of my stint with uh, mental health. Uh, obviously, um, you know, I think I've come out with a good head on my shoulders and I know what I'm doing. And I feel confident. Um, but, you know, I have had a sore throat for a long time. And I know there are people out there going, oh, when he doesn't have the sore throat, he'll, like, miss not having it. And I gotta tell you, that would be the dumbest argument I've ever heard. I actually haven't heard that, but I have, a, I have reason to suspect that um, there are some people out there that might think that. And the reason I say that is because the only social media forums I can join where there's any conversation, they're not really asking me things. They're kind of telling me things and telling me who I am and what I like. And I'm going, hold on, shut the fuck up. That's not me. Because uh, there's, you know, occasionally on the forums, there'll, there'll be a topic that becomes the main discussion point. Uh, and it'll be something like, bondage or something like that uh yeah you can like that i don't and like i don't like it being done to me and i don't want to do it to somebody else it just sounds creepy um it really does like it, it, it like it, not my thing at all and uh there's most certainly stuff about tattoos everyone goes oh yeah tattoos are the greatest yeah da, da, da. and i'm like uh, yeah, you do what you want with your body, but, you know, I'm gonna do what I want with my body, and I don't want to put tattoos on it. They're ugly, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna stop somebody else if that's what they want to do, but, um, you know, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing things on social media where it's just like, I don't know what type of a person they think I am, but, uh, they're wrong and uh the reason i brought this up and started talking about me uh it's not vanity it's just to help explain how somebody like zombie boy um who i think was of weaker will than somebody like me much weaker and he was conditioned into being this person he was to turn 33 uh, in a few days' time, actually. And, you know, that's not very old. A lot of people go, oh, you're 30 years old, you're an adult. And that is true to an extent, but uh, you have the same circle of people around you your entire life. Uh, 30 years old's not that old at all, really. Especially if, you know, people put strange ideas in your head like obviously what happened to zombie boy um you know no normal person would ever think that way but uh evidently he he grew up in a social circle that thought completely different and as i said there's probably reasons why that would be and i'm not going to say they're good reasons but there are reasons and, you know, as freaky as all that is, uh, there are other parts of the world where it's even freakier, like uh, South America or, you know, parts of Asia. Um, 
Like I, I, you know, I don't believe in you know the reptile people, the shapeshifters, um, living underground sort of thing. Uh, there are humans who deform themselves like Zombie Boy to make themselves look reptilian, and they have cold-blooded personalities. That I believe. Um, and they may adopt more. Um, you know, reptilian type personalities. Maybe they like living in caves and getting up to all crazy, scary stuff and, you know, imagining that uh, they are the incarnation of Satan or something. Um, yeah, which is kind of spooky stuff, actually. Uh, kind of real spooky stuff. But, uh, you know, try not to think about that. But, you know, it, you know, be cognizant that it exists. Um... So this dude, um, he's probably dead. He probably committed suicide. Um, I won't say for certain because I, there's not enough facts there. And the story does sound plausible, but the thing is it sounds too plausible. Uh, like, he seems too much like a, like a character that would have done that. And it sounds like a good cover story for him to disappear from the scene. Uh, you know relax a little, you know, have a more simpler, quiet life. Because as I said, Lady Gaga's career was going, you know, it's, it's, on, the, it's on the downfall. You know, she, she, she reached her pinnacle, now she's on the downfall. And that affects everyone who was on board with her, um, with her command ship, uh, her cult of personality. Uh, it affects everybody on all levels. And that's just what happens. And it's my honest belief that uh, we're in need of new pop star singers. Uh, a lot of the ones that are there right now are getting into their 30s and things like that. And, you know, they're old news. There isn't anyone really who's, you know, um, taken the baton and continued to run the race. Um, you know... We do live in a difficult time in history, but I don't see any reason why they can't get some um, new celebrities to take the place. Because, I mean, you get guys like Justin Bieber, and he's not a young man anymore. Uh, I don't know how old he is, I completely forgot. But he, he shouldn't be portrayed as the, the, you know, the, the teenage heartthrob that he was. Because he's not that anymore. He's too old. And, you know, he is a total douchebag, uh, that, um, that guy, um, Justin Bieber. Uh, the thing is, you know, every now and then they'll ask you a question on Facebook. They go, well, if you got to save someone, who's it going to be? And, you know, they'll list some celebrities and things like that. Uh, I don't know, like 50 Cent, uh, Justin Bieber, uh, Kathy Griffin or whatever. And I always say, I guess Justin Bieber. But if I'm to do it, he has to only sing Motorhead songs afterwards. And then I suppose I would save him. Uh, anyway, this video was supposed to be about Zombie Boy, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of intricacies in a conversation and things like that. And it's bigger than one sadomasochist um, might have done himself in with autoerotic asphyxiation, I don't know. Um, he may have been assisted by someone, or like the Dr. Kaufman uh, uh, phenomenon that I explained. Uh, there's a whole wide range of things that could have been, and, um, you know, the world's not as straight and clear-cut as it should be. I mean, I don't know. But um, I'm going to say I didn't have anything against him. Um, am I going to sleep any less difficult tonight? No. No, I'm not. Um, and uh, on that note, I think um, it's time to um, yeah, send my best wishes and the hope everyone at least learned something from um, this video if, if they watched it. Uh, thank you and have a good night.